Hey, look, we're back on not Reddit, English. You might have caught the last video I did on this, even though we now know there is a subreddit that's also called English. I feel like the website is really the place for some quality content. Now, I think where we last left off was at lucky number 13. So we'll resume from there on the most quality fail translations of all time. And we'll just keep on going down the list. That sign is definitely in English. It's the best translations I've ever seen in my life. English. English, 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 English. You know, you would think that even if you didn't know how to speak English, you'd be like, mmm, something's wrong here. We're just looping the same thing over and over and over and over. It, it's kind of the same word. I'm pretty sure that that's not accurate because we didn't type the same word up here in Chinese over and over and over. And also, you know what I didn't do on the first video of this? I didn't look at the, the source. Found at the Shanghai Zoo. There we go. We're gonna read these each time now because we'll know it's legit. Found at the Shanghai Zoo. It must be legit. If it says it's from the Shanghai Zoo, it has to be. All right, now I need to go there and find the English sign. Oh, I'm beyond pissed. Refusal of pets piss. Please make me like this. Please make me die. <laughs> Found somewhere in Korea. I'm so confused. Are we talking from like the plant's perspective here? The plant is trying to communicate that it really doesn't like it when pets pee on it, okay? And it wants to refuse the pet's piss, except the problem is that once the pet's peeing on it, it can't do anything about it, because it's a plant. But whoever wrote this can really empathize with plants, okay? It's the plant whisperer, and they just, you know, they really feel it every single time that a plant gets peed on. It just, it hurts internally. They share this, this bond. Please make me like this. They don't like drowning in pee. They lose it anyway. Take luggage of foreigner, no charge. I love how no charge could also be interpreted to mean no criminal charges. Found in Hanoi, Vietnam. If you ch if you take the luggage of a foreigner, we promise you'll get, you will not receive any criminal charges. You just, you can just get away with it. No charge, you don't, you don't have to pay for it, and no criminal charges. You're just good to go, you're free and clear. Look for all those foreigners and just take their luggage. This is, it's great. You just camp out at the airport all day. Take all the foreigners' luggage coming in. Then they'll be stuck forever here in Hanoi. And then you get all their stuff free of criminal charges. Wipe slow o oly. Don't stampede. <laughs> You'll frighten the urinals. Toilet sign found in Shanghai, China. Can I ask who poops like that? What kind of madman? stands up on the toilet and and crouches it's like their feet are the only thing making contact with the toilet seat i guess there must be someone somewhere is that how toilets work is it in like chinese culture do you stand on the toilet seat is that what you do i guess you know if you're standing on the toilet seat with your shoes at least nothing's making contact with your your bare butt but that that would be just quite a balancing act and the aiming seems like it'd be a little bit difficult like it looks like you're about to poop on the seat like it's not gonna make it into the toilet but also don't stampede yeah, that's just bizarre obviously the sign is telling you not to poop like that it's just who poops like that that you need to make a sign that says don't poop like that and also don't stampede Forevermore, ladies and gentlemen, this so this pooping formation is gonna be known as the stampede. All right, does anyone out there do the stampede when they poop? Because I've I've never heard of this before, but so apparently it must be problematic wherever this is. If you're happy and you know it, crap your hands, <laughs> make noise. Spotted, uh, spotted. You just found a dude wearing this shirt and took a photo of it. That's amazing. Spotted at Golden Temple in Kyoto, Japan. You're happy and you know it, crap your hands. Make sure that when you crap your hands though, you are in stampede position. It's the most effective method for you to be able to reach back there. <laughs> Dude, I can't. <laughs> this needs to be combined with the graphic from the other one, of, but remove the do not and just have the image of the stampede, which is forevermore what we're calling it. It is the stampede. Because I was not aware of any term for that pooping position before. So now it has a name, everyone. In case you needed to know. Crap, and make sure you make noise when you crap your hands. I Make sure it's a loud one. You want lives? We got lives. We have good rooms, and the price is very cheap. Have three human lives, and have four, th four human lives. Many human lives. <laughs> if you stay with us, 
you can have an extra three or four human li or even many human lives. Many of them. I love human lives. So stay at this hotel if you want more. You, you can die, and then because you stayed here, you'll come back to life many, many times. Also, it's cheap. Pretty good stuff. You'll find all the detailed info about hostel and traveling around. That's good English, actually, right there. That, though, not so much. Please check pockets for children. Wash inside out. Remove child before washing. <laughs> I mean, I I have to imagine. it's It genuinely means make sure you do not wash this while the child is wearing it. If the, if the shirt is dirty, don't just take the kid who spilled it and chuck the kid in the washing machine in order to clean the t-shirt. We just want to make sure for liability reasons, we tell you to take the shirt off of the child before you clean it, okay? Don't throw humans in washing machines. Humans in water, it makes it hard to breathe. There's a lawsuit filed against them. You didn't tell me that I had to take the shirt off of my child and my child died because I threw them in the washing machine, okay? I just wanted to clean the shirt and you didn't tell me what to do. Now my child is dead. That's real dark, but still. Move child before washing. Yep. That's good advice. Great advice. The best of advice. By order. Airports Authority of India. Eating carp is strictly prohibited. Found in India. What do you know? It's by order of law, we command thee, do not eat the carpet. <laughs> what did you mean? Like, no eating over the carpet? Or did you genuinely mean, like, don't eat the carpet? Yeah, we've had we've had a problem with people coming into the airport. They, uh, they think the carpet is actually food, and they just start munching on it. They think the stains are, like, seasoning. Look, that, these stains right there, they think it's seasoning, and you just start munching on that carpet. Looks real tasty otherwise, like red and black licorice right there. Who wouldn't want red and black licorice? A lot of people actually don't like licorice, so probably a lot. But yes, it looks very appealing and not stepped on by a zillion people and not also like a carpet. What was your intent here? I I'm like, all right, yeah, no, don't worry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat it. It's cool. I'll wait and eat somewhere else. Crab for all situations. Squid cooks an egg? Dude, is that like a show that you order? I would like, uh, it's like a Benihana style restaurant. Yes, I would like the squid over there, that squid gentleman. All right, it's like Monsters, Inc. They have the octopus at the Benihana kind of thing. It's just that, but it's a squid instead of an octopus. Which, yeah, I'd like that squid gentleman over there to come over and cook my uh, egg, also cook my time hand. I'll just pull the hand off my watch and then squid man can cook it. Crab steams, crab steams the lemon, crab cooks or dust. How has this happened? Crab burns, forces crab, crab cooks. You can you can order both of them, then you can force the crab to cook. And when the crab doesn't cook your meal properly, you get to punish the crab by cooking the crab and then eating it. And the crab's actually pretty delicious. So yeah, there you go. Found in Thailand. What is this? Crab cooks or just okay. Right. Or I don't I don't know how that translation made it into a menu, but sure thing. Please reconsider. Maybe hang yourself, hang someone. For hang something, for relax. Oh, it's trying to tell you that you can also, if you want, instead of using this as a hanger to hang yourself, you can also use it as a back scratcher. Very multi-purpose. They're like, guys, we're in designing this uh, label. We only have, we have room for four things, but we can only think of three things to hang. So what's something else that we can do with this hook? Uh, oh. Jim over there, he was scratching his back with it the other day. Yeah, we, we could just say it's a back scratcher too. Not a good one with a rounded end to it. Like, it's it's actually pretty bad for scratching, but hey, you know, we got to fill up the space. So, there you go. English, English. Found at a Tesco in the UK. Welsh lady ass punch. <laughs> oh, it's short for assorted. Welsh lady assorted fudge, except you... Solid work on the uh, abbreviation there. Really good. Only the finest delicacy from the, the butt of a Welsh lady. It's It's been a recipe passed down from generations upon generations that this Welsh lady consumes and then produces the fudge that goes into the grocery store. Very cheap. You would think for, for something that unique that has to come from one person, like it'd be a very expensive delicacy, but you get a deal here. Wow. We've made it we made it into a native English speaking country and it still happens. Choose wisely on erection day. 
Erection. <laughs> Pro <laughs> Found in Singapore. What? Does it? Is it actually literal? It's. We're not talking election in progress. It has the the do not like right over the area in question. So I'm wondering, is it being literal? Like we got that. We we got a code. I don't code 69 in progress, ladies and gentlemen. You don't come in here. All right. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. I got to assume election, but this image just doesn't make any sense. So, all right, whatever. Hey, yeah, I guess it is what it is. Or you could use the door on the right. In case of emergency, break this wall to escape. With break spelled like you're breaking in a car. Yeah, that doesn't seem like the most effective way to get out, but uh, all right, thanks for the advice. I'll be sure to do what they do in the movies where they just jump through walls. I'm sure that works really well. Uh, found in Okayama, Japan. Case of emergency, become Kool-Aid man. Jump through wall. It's good advice. All right, well, uh, you know what? Let's take a look at one more before we wind things down. Be careful what you pick up. Right, you, yes. Fresh, fresh rupees. Found in a Riyadh supermarket in Saudi Arabia. Spring onion, Molokia, fresh rupees. I wonder what it's supposed to be instead. It's probably something that, it's, it's like a similar name. Just an unfortunate typo. It's also really cheap. Yep, well, if, <laughs> just in case you want it, I guess, here you go, you can even pay for it. Right on. Good, I, I actually am very curious to know, like what, what was it supposed to be? Get home, you're like, uh, honey, I, I got herpes, she's like, uh, you cheat on me? No, I got it at the grocery store. No, I, I'm, I might have, I might have jacked the uh, comment right there for that joke, but whatever. Anyway, all right, that was, uh, that was the grand finale for our little English expedition version 2.0. Well, three if you include the Reddit one. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check the playlist in the uh, description you want to catch more of these and uh subscribe if you're not already and if you want to listen to music playing in the outro right now you can do that link in the outro over on mirror music i'll see you next time